Okay, what's up guys? This is Kenny from OAG Nest. And in this video, we're going to do something very basic. I'm going to show you how to list an item using the OAG Nest Gravity Google Chrome extension to find the item. Then the item will be listed to Sage, OAG Nest Sage, and then Sage will list the item to Walmart Marketplace. This is all for Walmart Marketplace dropshipping. So like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification, and I urge you to try the free trial of OA Genius in the description so you can follow along in these videos to automate your Walmart dropshipping business. So when you first download the Chrome extension, OA Genius Gravity, it will show up in your Chrome browser. When you go to the options, you have a number of, of, of selections that you could choose. In this video, we are doing Walmart Marketplace. So I suggest if you drop shipping on Walmart Marketplace, you click Walmart Marketplace. Then you can add the estimated shipping to the cost of your products and you can enable history. What this does, it saves your research so you could come back in the future and list these items. Then on the left, you would see a downward pointing triangle with eight different options. Return on investment, low and high. Sales rank, which is how Amazon ranks their products. Net profit, profit margin. When doing product research, our suggestion is that you, on the lower end of return on investment, add 0%. If you don't, products with negative profit margin will show up. Once you have those settings done correctly, you come to one of the pages of the suppliers. I am on Zorro.com. Zorro is one of the drop shipping suppliers that is facilitated or is managed with the OA Genius platform. I'm going to search shelf. Now this may not be an item you want to sell, because many people are going to see this video, but you can, this is a process that you list an item with OGNS. When you open the Google Chrome extension, what it is doing is going through the first page of results and using the, the parameters that you chose over here to find matching items. So if you notice some of these items, let me hit apply, because there are a couple of negative profit margins here some of the items do not match. So we want to find an item that matches. Here we have an item that has a 10% profit margin with a $36 profit margin. So we can verify that that is the same item. No, so we want to Right now it is showing the results for, for Amazon. We want Walmart. Now we have three items that are matched between Zorro and Walmart. This first item has a $70 profit margin. We can go to see if they match. And this is a match. Then there's a second item. And I'm simply verifying if they are a match. As you can see, this is also a match. In order to list the item, you simply, you have two options. The green plus sign adds it to Sage without, and then you list it in the future. And the purple plus icon lists immediately. So as you click, it will open Origineous Sage and populate the necessary parameters. So on the left, you would see the link to the, to the sales channel where the item is going to be listed. On the right, this is a source of the product. So this is the link of where the product is coming from and OA Genius will track if the item goes in and out of stock. 
you have a listing SKU that is generated by OA Genius and you have the price. Now OA Genius tells us that the buy box price is 310.34. So if we set our price at 309.98, we can increase the handling time And you would need prior approval from Walmart to increase the handling time. But generally speaking, we, we let, leave the handling time at one day. When you hit create listing, your item is now created. It is listed on Walmart. And when you come to manage inventory on the left, you would see the item here with the cost price the listing price, the status of when it, of if it is listed already or if it has been uploaded, and all the necessary details. Thank you very much for your time, guys. Again, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let me know in the comment section any future videos you guys would like to see. Have a good one.